I was just looking at one of my car forms and I realized that the suite number is wrong here in the footer. So on forms, there's this data that automatically populates here in the footer. It has your brokerage name, address, your phone number, maybe your fax number if you still use a fax. But anytime you switch a brokerage or if you need to change any information, this needs to be manually updated by you. This isn't updated by the association or anything. So you need to go into your zip forms and update it. And I'll show you how to do this because I needed to change mine. So I've logged into zip forms already. Let me see if I can close this so you can see. Once you log in and you go through the process of getting to your dashboard where you create transactions, you're going to see this little icon up top. And that is where you'd have a profile pic, but you'll click it and it'll give you a little snapshot of your information, but you can't edit it here. You have to click profile and settings. So you click profile and settings and it's going to take you to this page and it has this little about me. We're not going to change it here either. We're going to click on offices, this tab right here. Now it's going to have the name of your brokerage because sometimes I see agents that have their old brokerage information listed here. This needs to always be current. You can change your brokerage name here, your address here, and then of course phone number down here. And that's it. So offices tab, and then you reach the offices tab by clicking your profile pick and clicking profile and settings. And that's it. That's how simple it is to change this because this footer is going to populate anytime you create a new transaction. Now, once this is saved, it's not going to retroactively change transactions that already exist. It's only going to change tr new transactions that you create grow going forward. So keep that in mind. If you need to change it on a current transaction, you'll need to create a new transaction and then start populating documents there because it only works going forward. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you.